Hello everybody, um, this is me again, Mr. Megan is talking to you here and I'm so happy to be appearing on your little screen and this is me, Mr. Ahmed is with me. Hello Mr. Megan, how are you? I'm so great, how are you too? I'm fine, thank you. You're good, alright. It seems that we have, uh, we really missed you a lot. Um, uh, for, for many days we didn't, we didn't show up for my videos. Yeah, about a week ago, but right now we're so happy again to join you or to uh, broadcast this live video because today we're going to talk about something which is um, so uh, useful for you today by clicking on us you're going to be able um, to um, compare between many things you're going to be able to compare uh, between things and nouns to animals to persons to objects or to any nouns okay just using the comparative form comparative forms of the adjectives i just would like to welcome with my dearest friend muhammad khattab welcome i'm really glad that you're watching me and right now i'm just going i'm welcoming also with all the viewers here we have shahid khan we have hello victor um i'm so great we're so fine thank you so much yeah. Yeah, we are so fine. So uh, please uh, keep tuned with us because today you're going to know how to compare between two different nouns or two different objects or two different people and so on. So I'm going to leave you right now with Mr. Ahmed. He's going to give you an introduction about the, the comparative forms of the adjectives. Yes, sir. Yes, hello everyone. Good evening. I think that you all know uh, adjectives, you've had the word adjective, yeah. adjective is this here, yeah. adjective, and you know that an adjective is a word that describes a noun, so we have for example a noun like a car, a car, a car is not is just a noun, let's say car, uh, this car is not uh, we don't like we, we imagine it like we don't have any uh, like any connotation about it unless there is something that modifies it like an adjective here yeah. like a uh, blue for example or small big beautiful beautiful so these are adjectives adjectives describe nouns so car here is a noun and these words here are adjectives so adjectives modify nouns they, this is the function they modify nouns but as you say they change the meaning of the noun slightly for example you say a car it's just a car you can imagine anything but when you say small the image of the, of the car in your the mental image of the car is going to change you're going to imagine a small car not a big one the same thing when we say beautiful car you're going to imagine a beautiful car according to you not a not a uh, not a not a an ugly car yes uh, adjectives as you notice come before nouns that's how they that's how how they how they appear in English they come before nouns like the noun is here and the adjective comes before <coughs> you say a beautiful car I have a beautiful car or I have a blue car a small car so they can they come either before the before the noun or they come after the noun after the after a linking verb and you you can if you still remember we talked about Linking verbs. We said that linking verbs. We talked about the famous linking verb that is verb to be, and we said that, for example, say this car. This car is small. Still small here is an adjective. It modifies the word car, the noun car with this car. Yet. It comes after verb to be here, so it is. It comes, uh, the adjective comes either uh, before the noun or after the uh, linking verb here. So you can say the car is small. The car seems 
smoke. <coughs> and adjectives, as we said, are used to describe nouns. For example, this color, we can give it a lot of adjectives to describe it. Now, today, we're not going to talk about adjectives alone. Like, we're not going to talk about adjectives like we assume <coughs> that you know adjectives and their function. So, we're going to talk about uh, comparing two things and describing one thing. So, we use adjectives. We use adjectives to describe nouns. We use adjectives to describe nouns. For example, we gave an example. We said car is a noun. You can you can put as many adjectives as you can as you want before the word car. Or let's say a beautiful car. Beautiful car. We can say, for example, Ferrari is a beautiful car. Beautiful car. And remember that the adjective comes before the noun. That's what you have to remember. A beautiful car. So now we're not going to talk about adjectives. We're going to talk about first thing. We're going to talk about comparatives. We use adjectives or comparatives to, 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 not to describe as here, but we use them to compare. It comes from compare two things, let's say two things, or two people, or two whatever. This is what we use them. So we use comparatives to compare. Now Mr. Madrid is going to tell you about the form, about the forming of comparative adjectives, <coughs> how we form them. You can, of course, um, <coughs> let us read some, some comments here if we have. Please, if it's possible, explain modern verbs. Maybe another time, because today we're just going to, um, it's going to be in our schedule next time, maybe, or maybe after that. But today we're concentrating only on the um, how to compare between two different nouns, or two nouns, generally. As Mr. Ahmed told you here, the adjectives, we can use them to describe many, um, to describe the nouns, okay? And they could be found, also, they could be found before the nouns. You cannot say, for example, um, we cannot say, for example, uh, food to Chinese, but you say Chinese food. Mm. Also, the, the, the adjective couldn't be plural, it cannot be plural. For example, you, can, you do not say blues jeans, you just say blue jeans. You don't say French's water or whatever, but you, or you cannot say beautiful houses or something like that. Because the, the, the adjective is always, all the time, singular, all right? So it cannot be plural. Today, as Mr. Ahmed told you, we're going to talk about the comparatives, all right? We're just going to use the comparative to compare between two things. Like, for example, we're going to use the, just one adjective to compare between two persons, for example. So let us imagine right now we're going to talk, we're going to compare between, um, for example, let us say John and Mark, for example. Now, first, yes. first, we, we, first to, to make it clear for that. Uh -huh. Now we describe John, for example, say John. John is smart. Yeah, John is smart and we 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 have another person. John is smart. This is not yeah. this is just adjectives we use them to describe only one person that is yeah. John. And we said that John the, the adjective smart here. Yes. This is the adjective. It either comes after the a linking verb or before the noun. So you can say yes. John is a smart boy. Yeah. Boy. Anyway, yeah. it, comes before, it comes after the linking verb here. Yes. Now we're not talking about describing one person, <coughs> we're going to compare two people. It's yeah, we're going to compare John. between John and, and another person, maybe for example, Mark. Yes, yes, anyone. Mark. anyone. Yeah. So Mark. we have two people here. Yeah. Yes. So um, at first, you have to know or to, you have to identify which, which kind of adjective that you're dealing with. Because we have two different kinds of adjectives. We have the short adjectives and the long adjectives. Yes. And you ha really have to know how to differentiate between them because it matters a lot in the comparative form or even in the superlative way. So, for example, if we, if, how are we going to differentiate between the short and the long adjective? Imagine we have, for example, here we have this, the adjective we have smart. So, what do you think? Is that a short or a long adjective? Can you tell me here? Is it a short adjective or a long adjective? Compare with an adjective like the verb, <coughs> like for example, um, um, 
handsome, the handsome, a red handsome, for example. So tell me, I'm just waiting for you right now. You gotta tell me which which kind of adjective is it? Is it is it a short adjective or a long adjective? I'm going to give you, for example, another one. Oh my god. A marker is it's it. You can handsome. Yeah, the word handsome, for example. So what do you think? What do you think how we have two adjectives? Which one is um, considered to be short adjective and which one is considered to be long one? Mm -hmm. And it's apparently that we have the word smart. It has only one vowel sound or one vowel letter. If you have an adjective that, that has one vowel letter, which is here we have the letter A, and the letter or the sound has to be pronounced. How many vowels here? We have only one and it is pronounced. So you can, you can consider it, or it is a short vowel. So here in this case, we're going to say, we're going to say her, John, John is, and I'm going to use the word smart. Yep. And here, here if I have <clears throat> a short adjective, I'm going to add ER. So I'm going to say smarter than mark for example <clears throat> so this is the short adjective john is smarter than mark so it's apparently that we're going to use the short adjective that's the short adjective just plus er plus than so that's the rule of the, of the short adjectives here but if you have for example a word like the word exciting exciting handsome is a two syllable word it is a two syllable word but the word smart is just one syllable word so it is just one syllable so it is a short adjective but if it was um, two or more or three it's, it's considered to be a long adjective so in this case we're going to use another form of the adjectives we're going to give more more examples first about the short adjectives so so it's going to be a practice for you if we're going to use another one just like the word toll yeah. for example toll so it is I can use toll here yeah yeah Anyway, we just uh -huh. know them. But like they are known. Yes. They are known. We call we call it and we call it a short adjective. We call it a one syllable adjective. It has one yeah. syllable. It has only one syllable. Yeah. <coughs> the syllable has only one vowel sound. Yes. The tall has only the sound o. Yeah. As you can see. So tall, for example, has only one vowel sound that isn't that has two consonants. Yes. The vowel sound here is the core. It is called the the, the nucleus, and it yes. is the core of the, of the consonant in English. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike the word the word that we have here, handsome, handsome, handsome has two. As you can see, this is a vowel. Yes. And this is a vowel, another vowel. Yes. So ham. So we have two syllables here. We have ham, sun. This is one, and this is two. Here we have only one. We have two. It's only one syllable. Mm -hmm. If you have one syllable, this is the rule. If you have one syllable, you just add er to the adjective. Yeah. So one syllable adjectives, we add only er. Like as we say, two, two. You add er. Yeah. For example, nice. Yes. We're going to just add here. We have A already, so we're going to no need for adding another A, so it's going to be just R. Nicer, yes. Yeah, nicer. And the same thing for other, any adjective that is only one syllable. Yes. Okay, here. Yeah. Big, for example, what is, what is the comparative of big? It's going to be bigger. Bigger. And bigger. What do we do? But, yeah, but here, <coughs> we're going to double. We're going to double the last consonant letter, because here, yes. Yeah, because because here we have a CVC. If you have an adjective, yeah. If you have an adjective uh, consists of a CVC, which is uh, here we have the B letter is consonant. 
as you can see the B is consonant C and I V vowel and the other the other letter which is another C consonant so this is a C D C word so here we're going to double the last letter we're just going to double the last letter which here is G so it's going to be bigger bigger for example the elephant is bigger than the mouse for example yes. And you always in the comparative you always going to use, use, that. use that and also if you have a word that ends with y letter like the word crazy for example it's a word for example yeah all right okay yeah, we can so we're going uh, to give the, uh, all right so i'm not to confuse that okay we're going only to use only one syllable word syllable. like here we have the word tall we're going to add the r we have the word nice if you have a word that ends with e letter so only we're just going to add R, okay? Mm -hmm. But if we have a CVC word or a word that ends with a CVC letters, so we're going to double the last C letter, which is the consonant letter. So here we go. We have the word G. The letter G is going to be doubled. G E R. Or the word fat, for example, F A T, CVC word. So we're gonna say it fatter, fatter, F A double T E R. Van, of course. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the superlative for one syllable is right the word here. Yeah. If you have one adjective, one adjective. <coughs> if you have an adjective here, yeah, the leader, the leader, yeah, the the adjective, yes. Okay, we have superlatives, we have now comparatives, adjectives, like for example, one syllable, if you have one syllable like like not, like tall, let's say tall. Yes. The comparative is going to be Taller. Taller. You have the ER. Than. Taller than. Yes. Taller than. And we gave an example. We said, if you, well, of course, you use comparatives again to, to compare yes. two things or two, uh, two elements here. But we're told we use it to describe only one person, for example, or to describe, like, we say, John is tall. John yes. is tall. Now, John, this story describes John. If we'd like to, do, to compare between John and Mark, we say John is tall. taller. We, add, we use the adjective tall. Yes. And because it is only one syllable, one syllable, we add the ER, ER and then we say that. Always use that in the comparative, then say Mark. Yes. And John is taller than Mark. And this is. As we said, this is one syllable. One, mm -hmm. one syllable. Right. Now this is for one syllable words. Now this is easy. Yes. Now we can move to two. If you have two syllables. Now the major majority of words, like example, like, uh, like the example that we gave, like handsome. Handsome is one, is, it consists of two syllables. You have han and you have sen. Yes. So we have here two syllables, handsome, handsome. If you have uh, two syllables, you add, you just use more, you use more. If we say, for example, John is handsome, and here we compare them, we say John. John is more handsome. Yeah, we use more here. Yeah. More before the adjective. More. Yes. John is more handsome. Handsome. Uh, than, <coughs> of course, you always use than in the comparison. Than Mark. Yeah. John is more handsome than Mark. And this is this is the case for two syllables. This is the like this is for the ma for the majority of words. Like most words in English that have two syllables, we we are uh, we say more. And now Mr. Majid is going to tell you about the exceptions because we have some exceptions. It's not all words we not we not we don't add uh, we don't say more with all two syllable words or two syllable adjectives. But there are some some adjectives that are. Uh, exceptional and Mr. Maggie is going to tell you about the exceptions here. 
All right, I just, I just, um, 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 <clears throat> we need the viewers here to participate with us because I didn't see anyone just here giving an example. So can you just, can you just give us an example using compare, comparing between two things? For example, the word big. If you're going to compare the way two animals or two places or two things, so compare the word. You make a comparative sentence using the word big. <clears throat> Yeah, what is the what is first what is let's give uh, let's give them some give them some adjectives and ask for the yeah, all right. comparative form okay so for example like fast yeah what, what, what do you think what do you think the comparative form of the word fast it's an adjective the word fast here so what do you think the comparative form of the fast is going to be what and slow cool whatever Fast is one, one syllable. Yeah. One syllable. One syllable. What is the comparison of fast? I think we're gonna say it is faster. Yeah, we're, we're just, just going to add. We're going to add er here. Fast. So it's going to be faster because it's yeah, because it's one. It's one syllable. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. give another one. Like hot. Yeah, hot is a CVC word. So, what do you think hot is going to be? The word hot in the comparative form of it is going to be. Yes, it's going to be hotter. It's going to be. We double the T. Yeah, double the T yeah. here. As a vowel and the, uh, the word ends with a consonant. Yes. Say hotter. <coughs> hotter. Yes. Another one. Let's say. Let's say. Safe, for example. Mm, yes. The word safe is going to be what? Well. Different one. Like, uh, let's say, for example. What is safe here? Well, let's say boring, for example. Okay. Boring. What is the comparative of boring here? It's the comparative of boring. I think it's going. To, it is. It is a long adjective, so we're going to use boring has more. Two yeah, it's a long adjective. Considered to be long. Because yeah, it's contained two syllable words, two syllables. So we're gonna say bo more boring. Yes. More boring. Yeah, very good. Yes. Yeah. More boring. So this, is, this is the case for one yeah. two syllables. Yeah. Yeah. What, what what is the what are the exceptions for these? Yeah, we have exceptions for for the um, two syllables. Yes. So we have we have words like the word come. It has they have um, they have two uh, two syllables, but yet we can use them with either either er or more. So we can use them with both. Mm -hmm. Either ends with er than or we have more and the additive using that. We have we have the word common and also cruel. You can if you can write them. Yeah, we have words like words like come. Oops, write for you. Write it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we have the word come. Yes, what is the other one? Markers of marker. This one. Yeah. Uh, common. Yeah. Like the word come. Okay. Like also the word cruel. Cruel. Mm, yes. Cruel. Oh, yeah, cruel or gentle. Gentle, likely, you can use also the word likely. And narrow, narrow, polite, polite, simple, simple, there are words, and also stupid. Okay.
there are more about that just just examples of uh, adjectives okay that they are they could be treated as short adjective or long adjectives but tell you what if you're not sure about being the adjective a long adjective or a short adjective i'm talking about the word or the adjective that has only two two syllables okay just be in the safe side and use either use just more yeah, yeah for yeah for example you can say that more common more common than so and so for example cruel or cruel or gentle ahmed is more gentle than ali for example so you go just going to be in the safe side if you are um, confused between being that being that adjective a short one or a long one yes so <coughs> we use that we use more yeah to save the to save ourselves from yes. confusion we just use more yeah use more with them and uh, yet we can use er with them all because there are exceptions you're going to use you're going to use er with them but if you are confused it is okay you can use uh, more and the the adjective than using the word than yeah all right so um i think right now we're going to um and we have another exception yep that is with uh, if you have if you have for example if you have two two syllables and uh, a y at the end mm -hmm. this is yes. an exception of course you yeah, like the word crazy for example okay, let's say yes happy crazy okay Let's yes. give the example of happy. Happy is more. <coughs> is more. Is a positive adjective. Happy. Yeah. Happy is going to be what? Well, here we have why. Yeah, it is. Two syllables. Two syllable words. One and two. Yeah. So we're going to. Yeah. So according to the rule, it has to abide by this rule here. Yeah. Or I say we have to say more happy. Yeah. But this the these uh, ki this kind of words of adjectives that end in y these are uh, exceptions mm -hmm. so happy we we just instead of saying more happy we say happier yeah. and we just like emit the y letter I, and we add an i e r yes i e r we say john is happier yes. than mark john is happier than mark this is, of course, this is an exception. All adjectives, two let two syllable adjectives that end with Y, like easy. Yeah, it's going to be easier. Funny. Funny. Yeah, and also the word friendly. Yeah. Friendly. Friendly. Or unfriendly, because they are the same. Uh, it could, could be unfriendlier or friendlier. It's a confusing yes. word. Friendly, easy, <coughs> funny, etc. Yeah. yeah. So we have two syllables in these words, in these adjectives. Easy. You have, as we said, a, a vowel can stand as a consonant by itself. Yeah. Here, easy. And uh, funny. You have funny, and we have friendly. You have friend. And li. So here, these are two. You have two syllables here. Yet. We we don't say more easy, more funny, more friendly. We say we say easier, easier or funnier, funnier or friendlier, friendlier, yes. friendlier. So we need we need you to give me um, examples. We need we need you to participate with us. So um, if you'd like to give, if you'd like to make a comparative, or if you'd like to compare between two persons, two animals, or to anything using the short adjective or a long adjective as we show as we've shown you already if you're going to use a short adjective you're going to use the short adjective plus er than than or if you're going to use a long adjective you're going to um, use first you're going to write down more than the long adjective than the word than <coughs> Simply so, if you have more yeah. than more than two adjectives, more than two syllables, you have here one syllable. This is the rule. If you have one syllable, it's easy. You just add yeah. er. Just add er to the end of that. And you say van. Like John is taller than Mark. Big, bigger. Yeah. Small, smaller. Nice, nicer. You have one syllable words here. Mm -hmm. If you have two syllables, you, you say more. Like for example, handsome. You say more handsome. You have modern. You see more more modern. If you have two syllables, this is an exception. You said. Like some words like clever, 
-hmm. clever or like uh, words that as the words that we gave you here like words that end in uh, o w or l e like simple you can say more simple or you can say simpler but you better say more you say more better because it's easy it's it'll, it'll, like it's it just uh, it, it makes you avoid uh, falling yeah. into confusion so you just say more and here we have these with, with y at the end which a h a w p for example happy it has two syllables yet it ends with with y yes. and the others too we we Get the Y and we add I E R. Replace it with I E R at the end. So that is the rule. If you have more than three syllables, like beautiful, say beautiful, beauty, fully have three syllables, you say more. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Three syllables and more, we just add, you just say more. You use more. Alright, and also I think there are, there are some irregular adjectives. We can, we can tell you about them too. They are. Yeah, it rings like We have some regular adjectives. If you're going to use them in a comparative form or even a superlative form, you should use, um, you, you should memorize them like the word good. Is, you cannot say gooder or more good. And also you can use, you have the word bad and far and also you have the word many or much or um, little or few so there, there are some irregular additives you cannot say gooder you cannot say badder you cannot say fatter but it is they're going to be good is going to be turned to be good is going to be better yeah better yep and bad is going to be worse far is going to be farther or further you can use any one of them farther or further many and much is going to be more <coughs> and also the word little few they're going to be less so these are the uh, comparative forms of the sum of the sum of the irregular additives. Of course, all of them are followed by than. So, for example, you're saying that John is better than um, uh, Mark. For example, you cannot say gooder than, but it's, it's going to be better, yes. better than. Yes, so we don't like we don't we don't uh, we don't. Uh, abide by any of the rules, the previous rules concerning yeah. these two. <coughs> this good is one syllable, but we, we don't say good, uh, we don't add er. Yeah. This is exceptional, this is an exception, it is irregular, it does not, it does not go by the rule, by the mm -hmm. traditional rule. So instead of saying good uh, as, we, as, we, as one might suppose, we say better. Yeah. And bad, we say worse. Far, we, don't, we cannot say more far, far, uh, we say farther, further. Many and much, we say more, little, few, less. Yeah. Say, for example, I have less money than you, for yeah. example. That's, that's not right, by the way. All right. <laughs> so I think we've, we've covered um, most of the comparative yeah, form. Comparative is easy. It's, it's all of that, the comparative, comparative form. form is easy. <coughs> using different adjectives either if it was a short adjective or a long one let's do something for example let's, do, yeah. let's give an example with these with the comparative uh, using the comparative yeah. like for example we give an, adjec an, an adjective like for example like big yeah and and now like a country two countries of course we're going to compare two countries yeah. yes country so we say for example take two countries and we compare them using the adjective big so let's take two countries for example let's take Canada and here for example the United States or well, let's say France yes okay. Canada and France now we compare them the two what are we going to say? 
Yeah, here um, we're, we're going to compare between two city, two countries here mm -hmm. using only one attitude, which is considered to be a short attitude. Yes. Here we have the attitude is big, and we're going to compare. Uh, remember that we've been talking about comparative. We're going to compare only between two nouns, two uh, persons, uh, countries, cities, things, animals two nouns only two nouns so you're going to use the adjective in a comparative form comparing between two countries as we have an example here in front of you the board and we'd like you kindly to just uh, compare between uh, these two countries so which which country is bigger can you tell us which country is bigger big as we told you that this is considered to be a short adjective and it is a CDC word so we can we're just going to say that we're gonna say Canada is bigger than France and remember that we're going to double the letter G at the end of the word big because it is a CVC word consonant vowel then followed by consonant so we're going to double the last consonant letter which is big is going to be B I G G E R than France. So that is a very easy example for you to how to use the adjective in a comparative form. So I think this is so easy. We need you to try compare between two countries, two animals, two persons using um, a short adjective like tall, thin, fat, or whatever. Yes. Let's give yeah, we're going to give other examples. Uh, please, if you have any questions about uh, talking about the comparative or concerning about them, we're, we will be happy to answer your questions too. <coughs> <coughs> so, how is one of them work? Okay, let's see if the example fast. Yeah, uh, fast here. Yeah, let's use the adjective. Uh, use the adjective fast in this to compare to animals. Yeah. So imagine that you are in the jungle. Okay, you went to the to the zoo and compare between two animals. You've seen them. Yes. You're going to compare between, for example, the cheetah and another animal, which is the tiger, or what was that? The jaguar. The jaguar. Yeah. And we have, how are you, sir? We're so happy, we're so fine. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now we're just kind of talking about the comparative form. If you're joining us, if you've just joined us, joined us right now, we're going to compare between the cheetah and the jaguar. So which which one is faster? We need you to, um, we need you to, we've, we've already explained how to use them. So if you didn't catch us, so um, you, after the end of that live video, you, you can um, replay it again and watch it again so that you can know how to use the adjectives in a comparative form using short adjectives or even long adjectives. Yeah, so here, if you have the word fast, you're going to compare between two animals. It is going to be fast cheetah. Yes, fast yeah. is one. So we see the cheetah. The cheetah. cheetah. Yes. The You're going to say that the cheetah is, is and we use the adjective. Yes, yeah, the adjective which is fast and we're going to add er according to the rule we've just said. So, so it's going to be, one syllable yeah, one fast. so it's going to be the cheetah is faster than the, the jaguar. The jaguar. Yeah, here we have a question. I think we have a question here. We go, we have the word clever. We have the word clever. It is. You can you can say um, cl uh, clever. Yeah, that is an exception. Yeah, and that's. Yeah. Here you can add er. It's okay. So you can say, for example, um, fireman is cleverer than. You're just going to add er. And another er it is okay so either you add oh you can you can say yeah you, you can say more clever 
It is an exceptional word. You can say clever. Yeah, either you say it, it takes the two the two possibilities. You can say uh, more clever than, for example, farman is more clever than Ali, or farman is cleverer than Ali. Both of them, right? But we've we've just told you that if you if you are confused between words that contain or has uh, more uh, that, uh, words that have. Um, two syllable word that has two syllable so you're going just to be in a safe side you're going to use more with them just to be safe yeah so okay if you have more questions please you can you can ask us we're going to be so happy if you if we just answered your questions concerning about the combative form right now we're going to give another one it's read the adjective for example delicious Ah, uh, yeah, this is delicious, delicious, this is not a short adjective, as you can see, it has many uh, pronounced vowels, so that's how we're going to differentiate between the uh, short and the long one. So now we have delicious, you're going to compare between two, two kinds of food, for example, we have the, the pizza, and what? Well, the burger yeah which one is i'm not gonna say it yeah which one is yeah. more delicious that is a yeah, matter okay. of theme of course yeah which one is more delicious for you it could be different from me to the two others delicious has three has three syllables yeah delicious delicious yeah one two three, three syllables so how are we going we're going to use, we're going to apply the long additive rule on this word. So we're going to use more before and followed by than. So we're going to say, well, we're going to say that the pizza, yeah, the pizza. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, okay, I am PK, we're glad that you're here. But tell us a full sentence, please. Okay, you won already, but, but just give us a full sentence because we need, we're just uh, practicing you on how to make or how to use the additives in a competitive form. So the pizza, or a pizza is more delicious than burger. Yeah, it is in my opinion too. What do you think, Mr. Ahmed? Is that is why I wrote it on the board because yeah. the so pizza is more delicious than a burger. Yeah, of course. Mm. Very good, yes. Yeah, um, but is the pizza is more delicious, we say. Yeah. <coughs> more delicious. Let's take yes. another one. Let's say, for example, the word slow. Mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Smart. Here we have AMPK saying that the pizza is more, de is more delicious than burger. That's very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Here we have, we're going to use another additive, which is a short additive. It has only one syllable. It's the word slow. So we're going to compare using it in a competitive form, of course, between two things, which are two kinds of cars. Here we have Ferrari and Honda. So, well, what do you think is the slower, or which is the slower? Which one is the slower here? How are we going to use, we're going to apply, I think, mister, we're going to apply the short additive rule, so right? Yes, so, so, we're going to say Ferrari is slower. Slower. Yeah. Just for an example. Yes. So now we have Ferrari, chance, Ferrari is slower than. Yeah, Ferrari is slower than Honda. Or you can reverse it and say that Honda is faster than Ferrari. Oh my god, but I think this is the opposite. Of course, but we want to give Honda a chance here. <laughs> The Honda is a slow that yeah. Uh, the K A M P K. You should you should use you should add E R at the end of of slow because because it is a short additive. We're going to add E R 
than than. So it's going to be slower than slower than. So say Honda is slower than Ferrari. That is yeah. Honda is slower. Honda is slower than Ferrari. That's very good. Yes. Yes. Honda is slower. Okay. Uh, let us give another example. Here we have the word. Yeah, boring. <coughs> you must welcome and be okay. And I don't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. <coughs> fast furious. Yeah, let's say fast and furious and yeah. compare it to, uh, yeah, for example, let's say to uh, the mask. Which one? <coughs> okay, to boring film. We're thinking of boring film. Well, let's say, uh, let's say for example, the Five Brothers. Say the Jungle Book. Okay. Book of Jungle. The Jungle. The Jungle Book. <clears throat> so which one is boring or which one is more boring than the, than the other? Here we're going to use the adjective boring has three boring. Has two syllables, yeah, bo and ring. This uh, so boring. Yeah. Uh, if you have two. Yeah, here we have Noah's can he's saying that Honda is slower than Ferrari, yes? Yes it is, right? We just we just were given a hundred chance here in our example. Yes. You just that, but of course, in reality, it is the example that you've written here. Honda is slower than Ferrari. But right now, we're moving to another adjective, which is the word boring. Boring, as as apparently as you can see in the board, it has two syllables. Yes. This is one. <coughs> so it's one and two. Boring. So boring, boring. So what do you think you can say? We're comparing between the two films here. We have Fast and Furious, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book, yes. Yeah, which is more boring than the other. In my opinion, I think The Jungle Book is more. Yeah, The Jungle Book <coughs> is more boring. Yeah, here we have AMPK said that The Jungle Book is boring. No, you forgot more. You forgot more. You should use. You should have used more boring than fast and furious. Yes. Yeah. So I hope you go into correct it and say that the Jungle Book is more, more, M O R E more boring than fast and furious. Yes. Thank you. That's good. Uh, we're going to give another one, which like to be the word. Interesting, maybe. Or any other adjective that you like to use here? I would say famous. Famous, all right. Let's talk about person, actors, actors. Okay. <coughs> examples. Examples. Is more boring than fast. Yeah. Thank you, AMPK. That's right. Thank you. Here we've got another example in the board for you. We have going to use the word famous. Famous. Going to compare between two actors. I'm not sure about the name anyway. What in Brad Phoenix. Pitt. And who's who's that? I do not know that one. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. I think that is not known in that one. Yeah, we have Brad Pitt so that's the and what? That's the point, I think. Yeah, I know. Well, what was what the is name? He's an excellent actor. Joaquin yeah. Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. And Brad Pitt. Have you ever heard about, uh, about what? Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. And famous yeah. is, uh, has three, two syllables as, as well. Yeah. One and two. We so said if you have two syllables, it goes by this rule here. Yeah. You're going to use more. Mm -hmm. Going to use more. You have two syllables. More. Yeah. So the word famous, famous, famous means well known, popular. So who's, um, who's, who is the more 
popular or famous than the other. Brad Pitt is more famous than than the other one. I do not know him. What, what his name is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, Gazelle. Gazelle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, we're going to give more examples too. <coughs> we're um, we're going to give you uh, the examples for I mean. Yeah, the word spicy. Spicy, I'm talking about food, of course. Let's say, uh, let's give two, like, let's say, for yeah. example, Indian. Omega. Indian food. It is. And uh, yeah. Syrian food, for example, Syrian food. Here we have Omar. Hi, guys. Very good job. Redemption guys, okay, are oh, the best. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Omar. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, okay. Indian, Indian food and Syrian food and spicy is a word that consists of two of two syllables. You have spicy. Okay. Yeah. Two. One and two here. And two syllables we said that by it goes by this rule here. So we have to say more. More. So what is going to be what is what is going to be the answer? Spicy. Yeah, here we have the word, the attitude of spicy, and we're going to compare between two kinds of food mm -hmm. the Indian food and also the Syrian food. Indian food is more spicy than Syrian food. Yeah, thank you so much. Perfect. Yeah, well, I think we've done it. So we're going to use the word more, okay, plus the additive, plus I the word remember, than. I said it, but with two syllables, we have an exception here. Yeah. If you have, like, easy, you yeah. have two syllables, but you have Y. If you have Y at the end of the adjective, you have easy, you have E, Z. Yeah. Two syllables. We said that we don't say more easy, more easy, we just, we omit the Y. Easy, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing, the same thing for this one here. You have Y. It's two syllables, but you have one. Remember, we don't say Indian food is more spicy. We say Indian food is spicier. You can spicier. say too. Spicier. Yeah. Spicier. Because it has it is two syllables, okay? But uh, <coughs> we have Y at the end. Yeah. This is an exception. Exception. We talked about it. Yes. Anyway, uh, you have if you have two syllables and Y, you just you add I E R. Yes, not more. So Indian food is spicier than. All right, and we have had more. We have. Let us let us give a regular adjective like the word bad. Yes. Yes. So this is irregular. it's an irregular adjective. Remember. The word bad. Remember. Remember the irregular adjective. Yeah. Is bad. Bad is going to be. Mm. Yeah. Um, and the other is yes. Very bad. Let's yes. say let's compare. We will uh, what? Let's compare two seasons, for example. Yeah. Let's compare seasons. Yes. So let's compare summer and spring. Of course, this is a matter of opinion again. Yes. Some might think some. It's a matter of opinion anyway. <coughs> so what do what do you think here? We're just go we're just going to compare between uh, two seasons, huh? Summer and spring. Yes. Summer and spring. So it's uh, w w which one, from your point of view, do you think this is? I can I say better? This is remember always. This is an irregular adjective. I cannot say better. Yes. But what do you think I'm gonna say? I'm going to say worse. Yes, I'm going to say worse. And worse than. So, so what do you think? Which one is worse? Which one is worse than the other? Summer, you can talk about summer in your country. You can say summer. Spring or spring? spring? No, this is we're going to compare number. We're comparing between spring and summer. Spring and summer. Yeah, using the word. Summer here. Yeah, this, yeah. This, he's talking about a yeah. 
It is a yeah. spelling mistake. A spelling. So here we have Samurai here. AMPK is saying that. Samurai. It is okay. So, but, but please, can you give us another? Can you give just a full it's sentence? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> You can say somewhere here is worse, and no, no need here to. You can, you can, you can stop here. Somewhere here is worse, and you can stop. If you go, if you, if I know what you are talking about, I mean the other season. Yeah. Are you comparing with another country? Somewhere is worse than. So somewhere here is worse than spring. Yes. You can say so. In my country is worse than spring. Yes. But I think here we have we have no spring here, right? No spring. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe two weeks. It is yes. maybe. Yeah. Right? There is not. I think there are two seasons only: winter yeah. and uh, summer. But summer, of course, is worse than winter. Yeah. Let's give another one. Let's <coughs> say cheap. Okay. Here we're going to compare using yeah. another. Adjective, which is the word cheap, cheap. Yeah, let's give. Let's talk about brands, phone brands, for example. The phones. You like? Yeah. Say, yeah. yeah. Let's say Apple or iPhone. Yeah, iPhone. Or iPhone, Samsung. Yeah. So we're going to compare between two phones. Here we have brands like iPhone and we have Samsung. Which one is it cheaper? Cheap is one syllable. So yeah. It goes by this rule here. We're we're going to the R the R here. So it is going to be cheap. one. Yeah. Cheap. It is one syllable as Mr. Ahmed told you here. So we're just going to use the word or we're going to add E R at the end. So I think that Samsung is cheaper cheaper we're just going to add er add er here because it's only one syllable so yeah. cheaper than cheaper than iphone. iphone yes good samsung is cheaper than iphone yeah yes this is the last one i think well, let us let us get the word difficult mm -hmm. We're going to compare between two two subjects in school, for example. Yes, like math, like maths and English. Mm, let's say maths and let's say okay, yeah. English. English yes. All right. Here we have iPhone is more cheaper than Samsung. It's okay. It's in the the structure is very good, but the meaning, of course, it's opposite. On this country diapers. You just don't use more because you have already. <coughs> yeah, we don't. We don't use here. Well, I'm sorry, didn't see it. Hey, you, you're not saying iPhone is more cheaper now. No, no need for more, because here you just it's it is only one syllable, as we told you. So you can you just saying that the iPhone is cheaper than Samsung or the opposite. Samsung is cheaper than yes, Samsung is cheaper than iPhone. Very good, yes. Thank you, Nawaz. <laughs> Difficult. Difficult. <coughs> so here we're going to compare the last adjective that we have here today. D. Yeah, we have maybe we're going to go right now. Yeah, D F D F C A L. This one, is two, a word or an adjective that has contains three syllables. So you're going to use more. Yeah, going to use more here. Comparable with the maths, the maths. and English. So it is, it is, again, in, in your point of view, my point of view, that is, maths is more difficult than English, in my opinion. So yeah, what do you think? What's three, your opinion here? Yeah. syllables, of course, you yeah. don't see difficult, huh? you see more. Yeah. It's more difficult than E, maths is more difficult than any other subject. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> Maths is more difficult than English, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so here, because you have three syllables, you say more. If you have one syllable, you say, you add ER. Cheap, you say cheaper. 
nice, nicer. Uh, if you have two syllables, you say, you add like famous, you say more famous. Mm -hmm. Famous, you have two syllables. If you have two syllables but you have Y at the end, like easy, you don't say more easy, you say easier. Yes. Uh, if you have three syllables, we have no problem with that, we just say, say more. Always we say more. Like maths is more difficult. If you have beautiful, you have beautiful. You have three syllables, so you say more. If you have dangerous, you say more dangerous because you have three, three syllables here. Popular, 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 you have three, popular, you have three syllables, so you say more the same. Yeah. I think this is. Uh, I think we're going. We're going to go right now. Yes. We just <coughs> we've covered we've covered the comparative form. And we're using the comparative form of adjectives comparing between two things or two two nouns generally animals, persons, places, um, two different things. Okay, so we're going to um, as Mr. Ahmed told you here, just going to modify or um, know exactly what kind of adjective you're dealing with if it was. If it has only just one syllable, so of course you're going to apply the short adjective uh, rule on it. It's by adding at the end of <coughs> at the end of the of the adjective you're using. I'm just going to add to add er then than. Now if it was it's, it has it <coughs> contains <coughs> sorry if it contains uh, a war, if the if the word has uh, two or more syllables if it has two syllables you can. Um, there are some some regular adjectives uh, we've, we've shown you in the video um, speaking them on detail if you've missed them you're going to um, please just go back to the video and see them again so you will be able to be familiar with them and if you have a more a long adjective it contains two or more three or more added uh, syllables you're just going to add more then you're going to use the, the long adjective then then now we have English is easier than English, really. Which English? Okay, that's good. Here we have what's and when your next lesson. Um, our schedule, we have a schedule on, on, on Facebook, mainly in this group. We have our schedule, we've been saying that many times. Uh, we, have, we have our own page, you can, you can go and search and search for it, it's yes. named with Learn English with Megan and Ahmed. In a way, our next video is going to be, to be inshallah, on next Monday yes. at 8.30, according to the local time of Kuwait. It is 5.30. It's, of course, going to be p.m., 8.30 p.m. It's going to be uh, 5.30 p.m. by GMT, Greenwich time, according to Greenwich time. So. Yes don't miss our next video and if you want to um, for those who are watching us for the first time we've been streaming for you many live videos before and we've explained and we've covered many many examples many um, different tenses uh, we we just concentrated on the grammar on our last videos so if you have if you'd like to be more perfect in grammar and using tenses um, uh, Especially tenses, we've been covered. We covered maybe most of them. You can um, search for our channel on YouTube too. It is Learn English with Megan and Ahmed, the same name for the Facebook page. You can uh, just go share, go there, and, and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any live uh, video or any one of our videos again. So, at the end of this show or at the end of this streaming live video, uh, I'd like to thank you so much, Mr. Ahmed. I thank you and I thank yeah. everyone. We were supposed to tackle today to tackle the comparative and superlative, but we yes. don't have enough time. So next time we're going to deal. And also with we don't superlative. we don't have enough participating, yes. right? Yeah, we need but you to. Okay, can people yeah. can go back to the video. We just need them to learn. Yeah, so I think I think this is this is not a very difficult um, one because it is so easy. I hope we just. I hope it, it could be simple. We made it simple as possible yeah. as we could. So thank you so much for watching us, and we hope to um, see you next time. Thank you so much, and.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.